Every production, whether it be film or television, has a set crew that helps bring everything together. Different crew members have different responsibilities within the production, and they all play an important role. In the beginning is the development stage, which is the start of planning and researching what the production will be about. During this stage, there is a key role that I think is one of the most important roles among the team, the writer. The writer is the one who comes up with the story and creates a script for the production. I've always seen the story as one of the things that draws me into a film or a show. It is the writer's duty to create something original, whether it be inspired from people, places, works of art, news, experiences, dreams, and just life in general. Many times an idea has already been developed and a writer is asked to build upon it, like in remakes or sequels. Other times, it is a reimagining of a certain character, such as Batman. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy has become one of the most iconic story arcs for not only the Batman series, but for all films. His stories in all three films showed a more realistic portrayal of the characters from the series. Also credited with many successful projects such as Memento, The Prestige, Inception, and Man of Steel, it's safe to say that he has accomplished a lot as a writer for films and will continue his work in many years to come. Now let's fast forward to the post-production stage of a production. There are many important roles within this stage, such as the editing team and the sound team. One particular role that I find to be especially important is the composer. A film composer's job is to provide a movie with a musical accompaniment. This means that they need to create music that blends with the dialogue and actions portrayed on the screen in order to create a mood. If accomplished well enough, the music heard can be recognized long after the credits roll. One particular composer has accomplished this many times. Do you recognize this piece of music? How about this one? I know that you recognize this. That's right, the composer I'm talking about is John Williams, but those aren't the only ones he's been credited for, oh no. He's done the music for Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Superman, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Home Alone, Hook, Schindler's List, Jurassic Park, Saving Private Ryan, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Catch Me If You Can, Lincoln, and many others. The man is a musical genius. As soon as you hear an opening to one of his pieces, you instantly know what it is. As a film composer, he is really adept to creating a sound that represents a certain character. John Williams is credited as one of the first to use an orchestra in a film score. Just from seeing, or should I say hearing, the work that he has done over the years points out just how important of a role the composer is to a film. Without the music, every scene would be different and would not have the same effect as it does with music. Don't believe me? Check out this video on YouTube that shows a scene from Jaws with and without the music. Thank you for the time.